Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday, January the 14th, installment of seven minutes in the morning. Today, we're working off of this quote. No, this quote from this guy, Jocko Willink. Be sure and stay tuned to find out how you can be guaranteed to fail. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom and this is seven minutes in the morning. One of the shows where we talk about how to start, grow and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. The other, of course, being talk radio for entrepreneurs coming up later this morning at eight o'clock. Be sure and uh, tune in for that as well. Listen, when you get, uh, <laughs> wait, oh, let's take over the world. I thought that was an answer to my question, how to guarantee your failure. When you get here, do what Joe and Catherine have done. Go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, the chicken's back. Whatever. I just, you know, whatever, uh, whatever makes you feel good this morning. I can see that you're out there. So you might as well go ahead and leave a comment. Um, so a little uh, similar to yesterday. Yesterday we talked about leadership as a business strategy and, and in, in, my role as a business coach, I run into um, these, these kind of questions all the time. So I'm trying to collect a couple of them together this week and, and talk about those. And in doing so, have maybe found a way to use some of these quotes a little different than we've used them in the past. I'm always trying to mix things up a little bit today. Let's put the quote back up there today. Using this quote from Jocko. Stop researching every aspect of it, reading all about it, and debating the pros and cons of it. Just start already. And look, it's it's not going to be perfect. Just like I can't hit the right buttons on the keyboard sometimes, right? But the only way we, you can be guaranteed to fail, guaranteed, 100% of the time you will fail, is if you don't start. Right. That, so, so at least start, I was having this conversation yesterday, as a matter of fact, I I mean, literally almost every day have this conversation. Well, I have this great idea and I want to do so-and-so and I just need to figure out blank or usually it's, but I need to figure out blank. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother issue. I just need to figure out blank and then I can get started. Well, so for example, one one of the elements of this conversation I had yesterday was, well, I want to figure out what the rules are about using other people's content online. Like, are you planning on using other people's content online? No, but I need to know what the rules are. Like, okay, well, look, here's your goal is to make four posts. Are you going to use other people's content in those four posts? No. Then don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I don't, I mean, please, by all means, leave a comment. Tell me, let me know what I'm missing, if I am missing something. But to me, it seems we should boil each one of these these outcomes down to as simplest steps possible and then just go do that. But instead, we pile on all of this extra stuff, and we know why this happens. I mean, this is a a uh, self protection mechanism, and, and and we understand that. I mean, with within psychology realms, that's understood really well. So what we have to do is recognize this is necessary and this is not. This is one of the reasons why I'm so adamant that you have to know the outcome you're trying to create. And then use that, make that your, your, your filter for your questions. Does this, does doing this, does knowing the answer to this move me closer to where I'm trying to go or take me further away? If it takes me further away, don't do it. Just don't do it. 
If it moves me closer, then great. Do more of that. Here's another one that is comes up frequently. Well, I know I can serve this group, but more people need it than them. So how can I reach them? How about you serve this group really well first, right? Might be all you need, right? Figure out what you're doing, serve this group well, and then let's talk about the rest. Don't worry about, as Catherine would say, dominating the world. Just worry about dominating your little slice of the world right now. And then we'll, we'll move on to bigger and better things. Then we'll, we'll scale it's and, and look, I understand this is especially common around here with so many engineering types here. They want to know all the answers. Reality is you can't know all the answers ahead of time. If you did, why are you starting a business? You should be playing the lotto. I don't know. Just saying. Yeah, well, well, yes. Oh, sitting on your butts. I get that, Catherine. That's pretty good. I want to do this, but this is my idea, but I like that. I might have to use that some more. If you don't know where you're going, then you don't know which step to take. Agreed. Do what you can where you are with what you have. All great admonition. So here's the trick. Number, there are two steps. Two things, kind of two, two tactics to apply here. Number one, break it down to an MVP, the minimum viable product. What's the least amount of product you can create that somebody will pay you for? And then sell that. Least amount of product somebody will pay you for, sell that, right? Pursue that. Um, and then second, develop your MVP on a timeline. I'm going to do this. I need to sell this in the next 10 days. Uh, I use that example all the time. You know, we go through understanding what an MVP is. And I'm like, okay, now how can you do that in 10 days? Oh, I can't. It'll take a lot longer than that. Why? Out of these four or five steps right here to get to MVP, what's going to take longer than 10 days? Uh, I don't know. So we put this this unrealistic thing, set of expectations, limitations, constraints on ourself that holds us back. Don't do that. And that's one thing that the time box does. It just, it makes you work hard. All right. So that's it. It's really not any more complicated than that. You have to start. If you don't know how to start, create your MVP, define your MVP, create it and start selling it in 10 days. That's all. And speaking of that's all, that's all for this show. Remember the radio show is coming up at eight o'clock. You can tune into that talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. And by the way, if you need help with your MVP, just send me a message. That's all. There's even a link on the website, tomrigsby.com coaching. Go that coaching is the, in the URL or it's a button in the menu, or it's the big orange button on the home page. They all take you to the same place. Go there, click on that button, set up a phone call. First call is free. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, do that right now. Don't waste any more time. Be back here again tomorrow at 7 o'clock with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning and on the radio in an hour with Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. See you at one of those or both of those places. Don't dabble. Get out and do work. Start today. See ya.